In this tutorial, I want to demonstrate how to work with objects that are stacked or layered on top of each other. In, and they are layered in the order in which they were made, meaning like the first um, shape here that I've created would be on the bottom. So if I take, if I select all of these, and I don't remember which one I made first, but when I center them with my line panel here, the first object that I created will definitely be on the bottom and every object after that layered on top of each other stacked as Terry Ryberg mentions in her textbook like a stack of pancakes on a plate so if I wanted to grab a pancake from the bottom and move it or if I wanted to just select it um, and change the color or something one of these shapes um, there's a way to do that and without actually moving all of the objects, for example, if I'm trying to get to the star, if I move all those objects and they have to put them back exactly the same way, it's a little bit tedious. And sometimes you can't get your objects back exactly the way you had them. So um, let me go back in time, edit undo or control or command Z, Z, command Z, command Z, command Z to put it back. And I'm going to show you how to get the star to the front of the stack. So um, in this case, I can take this square and then also shift, shift click and select the three objects that I think are in front. And I can send them to the back. And I can do that either by using my context menu by right clicking or control clicking to pull up my context menu here. And then it has to do with arrange, so send to back. Okay, that looks like there's another object in front of my star, so I can click, select the triangle, and also right click or control click, send, arrange, send to back. Okay, now that's one way to get my star in the front. And there's another way to access the arrange options, and it's under object, arrange. So we've got bring to front, bring forward, send to back, send to back. So now if I want to send my star to the back, I can object, arrange, send to back, or use my context menu. Um, oftentimes in, in software, there's multiple ways to do the same thing. So, And then there's also the shortcuts. As you can see under object, um, arrange, the shortcuts are the command key if you're on a Mac or a control key on a PC plus one of the brackets. Either the left or right bracket. The right bracket moves forward, the left bracket moves back. So if I wanted to move it back just one, then um, I would hold option while doing it. So if I want to move the star back one layer, I can. Whoops. Let me see. Command shift. Command option. Oh, okay. That's another thing. Actually, command shift. Whoops. Okay. Command shift bracket. Moves it to the front. If I hold shift, it moves it all the way to the front or all the way to the back. And if I just hold command and then the bracket, it can move it one layer at a time, like so. So I can shift my object through the stack one at a time. And then, um, like I said, if I hold shift, I can bring it all the way to the front or all the way to the back. So those are the shortcuts. Now, if I want to actually um, move my selection through the stacking order, so not actually move the objects in the layers through the stacking order, but just go through the selection. So say I wanted to select the little square that's peeking behind this star without moving the star, then I can do that as well. And that is called, let's see. Um, select last object below, select first object below, select next object below. Okay, so I want to select the next object below. And that is command option bracket. So the commands are really similar, okay, but one is one hold you hold the option key to just move your selection. So now I held command option and then the lower bracket to select the square, which now if I use my arrow keys I can I can remove it without moving any of the other stacked items. And that can be really convenient in certain circumstances.